the vital economic link for a vast and rich and rugged land. This gentle land I'm moving through The air smells good the sky is soft and blue Five miles of wheat fields surrounding me At night I try to dream But yellow wheat is all I see Won't you come down, Annie? You would be having so much fun The morning's got wild blossoms The afternoon's got sun Gentle and a gentle land. The railroad is deeply involved in the lives of the people it serves. Even before the wheat harvest is finished, the railroad has distributed cars to local grain elevators to carry it to market. There's not enough storage space for it all. So timing is important. is repeated thousands of times in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Colorado, where more than half of America's wheat is grown. California, beef from Colorado and potatoes from Idaho, sugar from Wyoming and fish from the Pacific. Food moves from farm to table on a scale that only the railroad can handle.
To help farmers through the complications of the world grain markets, the railroad has agricultural specialists like Charlie Jarrett. This wheat is moving in here all the time. It's stored here. Then the export market bids come in and load it out into ships. Most of the wheat here goes to the Far East. A little of it goes to South and Central America. This ship is a 28,000 ton ship. That's about a million bushels. If you brought it down to railroad cars, it'll be somewhere around 400 cars. That's about four train loads. That's quite a little wheat. As basic as food is fuel. Abundant low sulfur coal from Montana and Wyoming helps meet the demand for cleaner air and helps ease the nation's energy crisis. There was no way to transport this coal economically until the railroad provided a unit train a train that carries only one kind of cargo to a single destination. nearly 50,000 people to keep the railroad running. And railroaders are a special breed. I've been around uh, 20 years now, and I've seen railroaders quit for a short period, and I've seen a lot of them come back. And not only for, for the money or the job, but they just, there's something that they miss, and uh, it just, uh, it gets kind of boring in you, I think, the railroading does. Like father, like son, I guess they always say. <laughs> so. And I'll keep it in the family. I enjoy working with them. It's, it's nice to know that when you get up in the morning and you're going to go relieve your dad or he's going to come and relieve you. It's kind of, it's a nice feeling to know. It's been a challenge, I know, to me and I'm sure to most other engineers to be able to take the train and get it over the road without breaking them in two and without doing damage to uh, the lading or uh, crew members and so forth. Uh, I, I believe that the railroads, with the tonnage they're hauling nowadays and the way they can expedite movements, uh, is, is something great. And I, it's improved so much in the 20 years that I've been railroading. I'm well satisfied. I got a good family, I got a rifle, got lots of shells. Damn right. I wouldn't trade her to anybody. Now, I wouldn't trade my job for anybody either. That's the truth. I got just what I worked for all these years. Since I like the outdoors a lot, you know. Like Casey says, it's not polluted or anything. You know, the air is clean around yeah. here. In some places in the city, it's kind of bad. But you can drive to the ocean, you know, in a day. You can drive to the mountains, you know, or east of the mountains, where it's the desert during the summertime. In the wintertime, it's cold. But it's just really nice. People are nice, just put it that way, you know. Good guys around. <laughs> oh, I'm happy where I am now as a machinist because I do enjoy my job here and uh, I like the people who's working here with me and so that's why I'm going to stay, I guess. I like it on the railroad. It's a good place to work. traffic moving smoothly, the railroad has invested tens of millions of dollars in sophisticated electronic equipment. It enables one track to handle almost as much traffic as two. Union Tower 250 to 84, 
track three of 13. Seattle, Denver or Dallas, Omaha or St. Paul. Without the railroad's massive movement of goods in and out each day, our cities could not exist. The railroad's diversity is expressed by its young men and women. BN's success is probably a combination of many things. It serves a growing portion of the United States, growing economically, that is. Uh, it serves some diversity of industry, that is, it serves the agriculture industry. It serves some industrial cities, you might say the manufacturing industry. And it serves the consuming public in the, in the uh, areas around its network. We originate over 600 through trains a day on the railroad. And that's, that's a lot of trains. Now those trains require uh, locomotives and they require cabooses to run those trains. And uh, the activity that you see behind me right now is designed to make sure that the right cabooses and the right locomotives get on the right trains. I work with about five different sections of the operating department. And that in itself is something very few other programmers up here get a chance to do. I get to work with engineering, which means I get a chance to work with mathematical programming, linear programming. Some of these terms, they're, they're more abstract and they're not used very often, but they're fantastic to use, even if it's only once or twice a year that you get a chance to use them. Plus all the new equipment, we're one of the first groups that get a chance to use it. Uh, terminals, we have as many as we want to use. It's because our work is the type that has to be done. of land, 19 states, almost 50 million people, 26,000 miles of track. The Pacific Gateway is Seattle, where Railroad Vice President Tall Watanabe works to improve international transportation. Probably one of the biggest challenges in our economic system today is the improvement of transportation, which has certainly been the result of the ocean containerized system. It's just revolutionized the whole railroad industry. The containers here are commodities coming in from the Far East. And within less than 24 hours, the railroads will be picking these boxes up and moving them into the inland areas. Well, that's saving time. That's saving money to the consumers. And that's certainly saving ship time to the shippers. Now, that is the responsibility of the railroads today.
railroad provides desirable land sites along the right of way. Attracted by economical freight rates and improved rail service, over 1,500 new industries have built or expanded their plants along the railroad's lines. These industries help balance the economy of areas traditionally tied to natural resources and raw materials. Forest Grove, Big Timber, Pine City, Cottonwood, Plentywood. The names of towns and villages tell the story. It's an area that makes over half of the nation's timber products, lumber, plywood, paper, hauled inexpensively to distant markets by rail. typical day, there are more than 100,000 freight cars on 26,000 miles of rail. To keep track of them all, the railroad uses advanced computer systems. Sorting them out by destination is the job of the classification yard. Yard map 6116. Yeah, are you heading back up this way yet? Is clear now. Yeah, that's true. I everything over to the house. Oh, right. coming up off. You see how it goes. Uh, I may want those yeah, cars up here on the house. Yeah, I'll tell you another one. Run me 20. Yeah. Uh, you in there, Johnny? You come back. Uh, reach down into RIP 4, will you? Dig me out a 10, 114 caboose. Put it on the east end of that departure number 6. Hello. Okay, then. We'll stay the clear or they're gonna drop the caboose. Oh, they're gonna drop the caboose. Yes. Got your picture, Dino? Yeah. Okay, uh, fire them up and let them go. Trains come in and are routed to the hump. The freight cars are pushed over the crest, down an incline, and sorted by computer-controlled switches to their proper tracks. The job is tremendous. 2,000 freight cars every 24 hours.
That one on line three would have went, but you got that uh, F1, so that'd be the one for 14. That's where it's at, down on top of 34. That's it. That's it. Is it down? Yeah. Hey, you ready over there? Yeah, whatever you are, Doc. Pick me up a little set of cars, take that into the bus of two on your way down, will you? Okay, what do you have? Four, five, and ball six. Take them right back with you, uh, right up the main line if you want. classification yard, the work goes on, day and night, seven days a week, all year long. Amen. 